I, well, fortunately, we have a member of the Mr. Rogers neighborhood cast here. David, are you here? Is David here? Let's bring. Oh yeah, he's here. Please welcome. Hey! Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mr. McFeely. So good to see you. Thank you so much. There he is. You know what you can tell, count to three, you all said, including you too, all right? So here we go. I'm the real Mr. McFeely. 1967 uh, we began. Uh, you, were, you, you weren't born then, were you? <laughs> here we go. One, two, three. Speedy, Speedy delivery. delivery. That's it. Thank you. Speedy delivery. Wow. Oh, Jesse, I have a delivery. I have a delivery for you now. It, uh, Amazing guy. You can't oh. see it uh, from way back there, but it's a pen. It has, a, it has a trolley that moves. I got you a pen too. Oh. <laughs> no, I, this was just on my desk, but you're allowed oh, to. Oh, good, I can have that one. Yeah. I'll give you that one. Thank you so much, David. Thank you. Wow, Speedy this is delivery. wonderful. That, I am a graduate of Pitt. Yes. <laughs> and they, they love that. They are such a fan of that. And I studied, my major was English Lit. And before, some of English and some theater. And before I, before I came to Pitt, I was working in the Pittsburgh Playhouse. And to make this very short, yeah, our first studio that we where we take Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood was now your music building on the corner of Belfield and and Fifth. The yeah. more you know. Wow. And, and that that's where the neighborhood began. In 1967, the, the studio had been there since 1954, and again, Pittsburgh is the first public television station in the country. It started right there, and it was all Pitt's property to begin with, and they converted it back when they built the new station. So it's been a long time, 48 years. And you're still year. paying off the student loans, I'm like still, the rest yes. of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 